I'm Nivash Amra uh, and uh, I hail from Jodhpur. I did uh, my 12th class uh, from RSM International School last year in 2020. And uh, this was my second attempt at ISA and CMI entrance exams. Actually, um, uh, it was around last year, I think, uh, after my boards were over. Uh, that's when I decided to properly pursue uh, theoretical mathematics and uh, study that uh, in good detail. Uh, uh, my problem solving approach was different and uh, the problem solving ability because uh, I think last time I was not well prepared, uh, I was not prepared enough for the exams. There are quite a few books uh, which uh, help me, although I, I never finished any, any one of them. But uh, I have read different portions of uh, different topics from uh, each, uh, each of the books. Uh, like there's one book called Combinatrix, by the name Principles and Techniques of Combinatrix. Uh, I found that very helpful actually. And then there was Excursion in Mathematics, which uh, covers most of the topics we need, uh, except calculus. And uh, for calculus, there then there's uh, you know, Differential and Ethical Calculus by N. Viscudo and Introduction for Real Analysis by Barton and Sherman. Uh, those two books I, I found very helpful in the calculus part. Uh, comparatively, I found uh, number theory and combinatrix to be uh, uh, like more enjoyable than other topics. Although, uh, although all the topics were almost equal. Curtis is the the pattern of the exam uh, at the level of the questions that that basically different from any kind of exams we have uh, given before. Uh, like uh, in other exams, we do uh, mostly objective type questions, but here we have to explain our reasoning uh, and. Uh, uh, explain every step of why why we are saying this or we need to prove things so that that is a bit different so, so assimilating to that change uh, might have been difficult for me a bit so that uh, for the people who are giving it second type we kind of have an advantage because we have seen how it feels with the examination on all and what kind of questions they give uh, we have uh, experienced the real life situation of that exam so uh, so we can prepare uh, according to that. So that is kind of an advantage to us. And the thing regarding uh, getting demotivated, then uh, if you enjoy what you do, like uh, if you enjoy doing questions, then uh, I don't think that would be a big problem because uh, whenever you feel demotivated, you can do a, do a certain question and uh, you can feel rejoiced again. Yeah, I also had the same kind of questions before giving this exam and when I was preparing. But uh, after giving this exam, uh, I have seen that uh, you can never be sure because uh, there are times when doing even four four subjective questions is not enough, and uh, there are times uh, where even if you do two or three subjective questions, you can clear. So the cutoff vary drastically uh, every year. Like this year, the cutoff was extremely low because the paper was uh, comparatively tougher than last uh, last papers. But uh, like last year, the cutoff was comparatively higher than previous year. So they vary drastically. You cannot ever predict it. That actually introduced me to uh, excellent teachers who themselves were experienced and uh, their teaching method methodology was quite good uh, and uh, they made stuff easier to understand. And the uh, second thing in, uh, uh, which I very much like that it introduced me to a, peer, to a uh, great peer group. Uh, where people were equally interested as me in mathematics and were equally passionate about that. So uh, it felt like uh, I was not alone and there were people like me who were preparing with me for the exam. So it felt like a uh, kind of a support for me. I remember actually uh, Varun, Gautam, Aditya, and Yanananda. Uh, they actually helped a lot in my preparation too. Uh, because uh, in those group discussions, uh, there, was a, there was a sense that uh, we all are equally passionate and we all uh, are equally interested in this exam and we all want to do it. So it was not like a single interest, but now it was a common interest for all of us. Uh, yes, I enjoy uh, writing poetry and uh, reading books and uh, occasionally playing badminton, although I know I'm very bad at that. But still, uh, I, uh, I occasionally play badminton and write poetry and that stuff. Not uh, definite uh, concrete planning right now because uh, uh, I think that as far we are as far as we have studied till now we don't we don't know much of mathematics so I think I would uh, first like to explore uh, 
what what kind of mathematics do we study what are the different fields in mathematics and what are the basics and foundations of that uh, in the uh, basically my first year then i will decide that that on what should i concentrate more this one month away to learn anything new uh, because uh, if you try to learn anything new you you may you may not be able to recall what you learned before that uh, because uh, there is so much stuff to uh, learn and recall and you need to recall the uh, right stuff at the right time in the exam so uh, basically i would say don't learn anything new and revise the uh, cover up the stuff you have uh, learned before and uh, do practice questions for that 